last leg. I ought to feel confident, elated even, but I know from the Arctic that at the extremes of the Earth, happy endings can never be taken for granted. Rudy Driscoll, the company's other customer, only took up adventures like this in his 50s. Antarctica is a polar plateau with an average height of 10,000 feet and an average annual temperature of minus 50 centigrade. It's a five-hour flight, but there's not much time to sleep. Halfway through, we must stop and refuel. First, we have to find the fuel. A chart gives a rough position, but the precise location is marked by a bamboo pole. Dan has never been here before, nor has his co-pilot Scott, who it turns out is not a pilot at all, but a doctor. Dan goes down for a closer look. No one seems to mention what happens if we don't find it. After a few abortive passes, Dan catches sight of something. 